Hey, what's going on guys? The Pipe Doctor here. I'm doing a follow-up video on a service call we did last week on this large Burnham Series 2 gas-fired boiler in a home with approximately 9,000 square feet. The initial complaint was water coming out. Let me get some light over here for you guys. Water coming from the boiler. When we got here, we found that the relief valve was lifting. And you can't see it now, but this whole floor was flooded with about two inches of water. And I think you can see it there. It is still a sizable amount of water in this basement, which is vacant. The house is vacant, sorry. But you could see it really went quite a ways. You know, it's over there, it's still in here. You know, whoa. You know, they got a, about an inch of standing water in here. But in any case, I tell you what I did. The pressure and temperature gauge right over here was no good. And when I opened up the boiler drain, water was really coming out of here with a tremendous amount of pressure. I hooked up a tan, uh, handy tire gauge to uh, the test port on the x troll expansion tank. This one is one of the floor mounted ones, uh, SX40V. And looks like someone probably even added an x troll number 30 thinking that maybe that would help. So what I did was, I actually added a pressure reducing valve by Calfury, right here. Uh, I used to use the uh, half inch Taco, you know, PRVs with the uh, manual feed slide on it. But uh, about a month ago, I fell in love with these. So I put one of these on because it's got the built in temperature gauge. So I was suspecting that the pressure reducing valve was defective. Not only was the temperature and pressure gauge inaccurate, but I was just suspecting that the uh, pressure reducing valve was bad. So I swapped this out, put a new one in, and let the boiler fire up. And as it got to about 180 degrees, my temperature, I'm sorry, my pressure gauge on the PRV was hitting 30 and my relief valve was lifting. And it was flooding the floor again. So I'm like, hmm. I was like, maybe the expansion tank is bad. So I isolated it, you know, the valve there. I drained it. I pressurized the expansion tank to 15 PSI, only because of the size of it. I have a Black & Decker uh, cordless tire pump that I use for a gas pressure test. So I just pumped that up to 15 PSI and it wouldn't go. So I knew that the bladder in the expansion tank was was bad so I ordered a new expansion tank put that in the following day and uh, again the same problem occurred so I'm like what the fuck is going on here relief valve is lifting pressure is getting 30 psi and I'm looking I'm looking I'm looking guys I'm looking and I stare at the indirect way here and you know it indirect water heater is piped in with domestic water and piped in as a zone off the hydronic boiler. So I isolated the supply and return lines. There's a uh, probably a supplier or whatever. No, this is, where's the supply? Yeah, this is the supply side. So I isolated that one right below the circulator. I closed that one off and I disconnected the aquastat going to the switching relay so the circulator doesn't come on and burn out. And I waited. And the pressure stayed around 15 PSI. And here I am today again, a week later, wanting to reconfirm the diagnosis that I made. And the diagnosis is the indirect water heater has an internal tank failure. The domestic tank has ruptured and it is feeding the hydronic zone, therefore feeding the boiler, causing the boiler pressure re uh, relief valve to lift at 30 PSI, which then flooded 
the guy's basement in this vacant house. So, most guys would be still scratching their heads. Most guys would say, oh, you know, maybe the boiler feed valve is letting water in. You know, the boiler feed valve is closed, guys. You've got a low water cutoff. That should be closed. So, there you have it. This pressure reducing, sorry, pressure relief valve was discharging because the indirect superstore failed. And this is a 120 gallon model. Nice. From 2006. There you have it. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. Drop a good comment. Hit the notification bell so you can get some updates on new videos as, as we post them. Again, this is the Pipe Doctor Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning based in Valley Stream, New York. We are Long Island and New York City's premier 24-hour emergency plumbing, heating, and HVAC contractor. Our trucks come stocked with thousands of parts to get the job done in one trip while we're there. And no, guys, don't be wise asses. We don't keep superstores on our trucks. But I do keep a Navy in one of them. Have a great one.